Welcome back to Cheddar News, everyone. Vietnam's first global automaker is coming to the U.S. VinFast unveiling the company's full EV lineup at CES 2022, which is comprised of five models. A reservation program for its first two electric vehicles, the VF E35 and VF E36, will officially open later today, with the company set to announce the vehicle's retail prices in the U.S. and Vietnamese markets. Well, VinFast is also applying blockchain technologies to the process of certifying reservations, payments, and eventually vehicle ownership, making it one of the world's first automakers to put the crypto technology to use. Well, joining me now from CES 2022 in Las Vegas, the global CEO of VinFast, Leiti Tutui. Uh, Leiti, thank you so much for coming on the show. And we are just hours away from when your company is going to start accepting reservations for the first two EV models. Uh, provide some more details about both of these vehicles and why your company chose CES as the place to unveil them. Uh, thank you very much. Um, uh, first of all, CES is a, a becoming a much a very um, um, popular place for consumer electronic and for technologies. Um, having we are uh, coming here because we have uh, the whole line of five vehicles from uh, A segment to E segment that we would like to unveil here in uh, at CES. Uh, the first two, uh, the two vehicles that we are going to launch in the U.S. are VF E35 and VF E36. Um, we already unveiled in Los Angeles, and we're going to unveil three more vehicles uh, today uh, at CES. Mm -hmm. And why is CES the location that you want to do this at? Uh, because it's well known for for technology. Uh, because uh, the cars are becoming more and more of a consumer electronics. Uh, our our vehicles are not just vehicles, they are smart EVs, uh, and we um, it's come loaded with features and will be uh, updated with more features in, in the future. And what is the demand uh, that you expect for your vehicles? Well, uh, let's see, in the three hours, we're going to open the early reservation and um, let's see what we're going to get. But in Vietnam, uh, about eight months ago, we also uh, opened the reservation for our VF E34, which is the first electric vehicle that we finally deliver on Christmas Day uh, last year. Uh, and within uh, 12 hours, we got 4,000 reservation, uh, which is probably never been, never happened in the world. And as of today, we have a, a backlog order of about 25,000 vehicles, and we are working on delivering those vehicles within this year. So uh, let's see what happens. What are the price points on these cars? Well, we will be announcing the U.S. pricing, European pricing, and Vietnamese pricing in uh, uh, in two hours. Um, roughly, it's about um, uh, depending on the variants, the like Eco or Plus, and depending on uh, the um, the model, whether it's a VF E35 or VF E36, uh, it's going to be around forty thousand to sixty thousand mm -hmm. dollars, roughly. Now, I know you're planning to build the EV batteries at a U.S. manufacturing plant. What's behind the decision to build out the operations right here in the U.S.? We would like to show the uh, our commitment to the to the market, and obviously with uh, you know the policy in the U.S. with uh, increasing localization, uh, it, it is a must anyway. Um, so we we have. Uh, narrowed down to a couple of sites in uh, in the U.S. And after CES, we're going to uh, go look at them and make a decision on which uh, site we're going to build a factory. Mm -hmm. um, How are the supply shortages impacting your company? Has that been a challenge at all, getting the semiconductor chips needed to roll out these vehicles? Um, I think we've, we're facing the same challenges as other OEM. Uh, however, I think we have... Um, some advantages of having um, smart devices, smartphone company before and having relationship with the um, chip makers as well as uh, knowing the, the industry. Uh, and we, um, so we started working with the uh, chip maker pretty early. And I think as of now, I'm pretty comfortable that we should be able to uh, secure our demand in uh, 2022 and 2023. Give us uh, and I think by, by then it should be the uh, supply chain issues should be resolved. 
give us a taste of some of the features in these vehicles. We were we were seeing some images. They look incredibly sleek. Uh, but what are some of the special features that will differentiate these vehicles? Um, so we um, so all these vehicles are designed by Italian uh, the, the styling houses. So they are they look really good. Uh, they they were designed to uh, meet the high standard of the um, uh, international market, the like Euro and Cap five star and Nissan five star. Uh, so um, and the, in terms of feature, we have uh, the vehicles will come with uh, smart features from uh, uh, ADAS feature assisted driving, uh, as well as some um, other like smart features like um, um, smart homes or. Uh, uh, mobile office, um, in-car entertainment, um, in-car shopping. Uh, Leiti, it's been so fascinating to uh, hear from you about these new electric vehicles. Any concerns about access to charging stations and the EV infrastructure so that people can make sure that they're able to charge when they buy one of these vehicles? Uh, we're going to make the announcement later today, but the uh, early uh, um, people that make reservation in the next three months are going to, the vehicle will come with uh, a level one home charger as well, on top of many other benefits that we're going to announce later. Uh, we're also working with all the uh, charging station networks here in the US and other market as well, to make sure that the uh, customers can have access to convenient charging. All right, well, we are excited for the announcement. We're excited to see these vehicles on the roads eventually. Leiti Tutui, Global CEO of Inpass, thank you so much. You do want to stay with Cheddar News for more from CES this year with big interviews throughout the week. And then on Friday, we're going to bring you a full wrap-up of the biggest highlights at 5 p.m. Eastern time right here on Cheddar News.